hello, future nurses. Okay, we're going to jump into doing conversions calculations now. And so at this point, you should already know um, Big G and King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then go back and find my first two videos on conversions. And that will teach you what the conversion factors are for um, English units and metric units. So now we're gonna jump into doing a calculation. Okay, so the first calculation we're going to look at is a pretty simple, straightforward one, which is how many pints are in three gallons. And so anytime you have a word problem or a conversion problem, I want you to start by writing what you're given and what you're trying to find. So first here, we're going to write out the word given. And what we're given is always going to have a number with it and a word of some sort. And that word in this case is a unit. And so our given here is three gallons. And what are we trying to find? That always follows some kind of question kind of word. In this case, it's how many. So how many pints? And that's what we're trying to find are pints. And now this is where the king uh, Kingdom of Gallon and the King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk come in handy. Um, and so this is the reason that you are going to write them down before you need them. Um, because when they pop up and then you need to know them, then the pressure's on and you might forget them. And I don't want that to happen to you. So if you write them down, as soon as you sit down to take your test, write them on your scratch paper. Then when the first question comes up where you need them, they're there and you don't have any um, opportunity to have um, test anxiety and freeze and forget what you're supposed to do here. So it's already written on your paper. And so in this case, um, we know it's gallons and pints are what we're given and what we're looking for. So obviously we need to use the king gallon and we're just looking for what is equal um, here. So something that involves gallons and pints and that are equal to each other. So in this case, we've got one big G. So we know part of our equivalence here is going to be one gallon. So we're just gonna write that down one gallon and then we want to write the equal sign and then whatever that is equal to and we do that just by counting up how many pints are pictured inside of that 1g so in this case we're going to just count up all of the p's here which is one two three four five six seven eight so eight pints is equal to one gallon. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna have you draw out a grid. And this grid is what helps organize your process and helps you know whether you need to multiply or divide numbers. Um, this is where people run into problems with both word problems and conversion problems, which are actually solved using very similar methods. Um, so your grid is just going to look like this. In this case, it's going to be a very simple one, just um, with two lines, one across and one vertical. And um, this is in the end, it's going to tell you whether you need to multiply or divide. That's the most common problem that people have in conversions is that they say, okay, I've got to do something with the three and the eight. 
do I multiply them or do I divide them? And if I divide them, is it three divided by eight, eight divided by three? This is gonna put everything in the right spot so that you don't actually even need to know that. So first thing I'm gonna have you do is um, go to your given, which in this case is three gallons. And we're gonna take that three gallons and we're going to write that here in this first box. So we're gonna write it just like it's written up there, three gallons. And now whatever word we had there in our given gallons, we're gonna find where else we have that same word. In this case, right here, we have it in our equivalents. We have one gallon here. And so we're gonna write that below and to the right of where we wrote our given. So that's gonna go here, one gallon. And then we have to always, if we're putting something like this in here, then what goes on top of it has to be whatever it is equal to. In this case, what one gallon is equal to is eight pints. So that goes up here. And that is how this is always going to work. And it's going to um, get easier with practice. But this is always how you're going to work out what goes where. And then this is the fun part. Um, you know how in fractions, if you've got the same thing on the top and the bottom, well, and then you can cancel them, you can do the same thing here. So here we've got gallons on the top and gallons on the bottom, and it's okay that they're not in the same um, square because everything on top is divided by everything on the bottom. And that means your gallons here, not the three and the one, just the word gallons cancels. And so then we're left with three, eight pints and one. And what you do with those numbers is that everything across the top is multiplied by each other. So that becomes three times eight. And then it's divided by everything on the bottom. If we had more than one number on the bottom, we would multiply them by each other as well. But since we don't, we just bring over the one. And then whatever any units that we have left or any words that we have left just get carried out here. And so then we can just solve this. Now it becomes a very basic math problem. Three times eight divided by one. And you can always use your calculator if you want to. And that is 24 pints. And that is the solution to how many pints are in three gallons, 24. I'm gonna do a bunch more examples, so watch for those videos. Bye-bye.